What you see in the macro text is you see grounded bridge amplifiers used. Because with a grounded bridge, you can have a ground common in the output and double the available voltage without passing that burden onto the semis. The semis now, all of the voltage to which they are exposed could be delivered to the load. Where previous to using the grounded bridge and just using half bridge outputs, you could only get half the voltage to the load that you expose the semis to. Not a good deal. Okay. And bipolar semis are very voltage limited in terms of their safe operating behavior. So having a grounded bridge made a world of difference. And now, if you want to use a balanced out, okay, which is the way you formerly had to get your full bridge, you can still do it. You can take a pair of M600s and make an M2000, okay? Or you can take a product that's got two grounded bridges in it, like any of these, throw them into bridge, and now you get twice the voltage to the load that any semi's exposed to. Kind of neat. All of a sudden, bipolars don't look so bad. Okay, so that's the background, really. They begin life with the M600, which was the first grounded bridge. That's like 1971. The prototype for the grounded bridge burned up in our Thanksgiving Day fire. No, it wasn't the cause. It was just simply lost. <laughs> and that just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And it took us a while to recover from that. It took us like three years before we had a product back again from it. But the product was the M600. Well, that technology is an enabling technology to make other products. And that isn't the only enabling technology. This product right here uses the lower half of a grounded bridge, i.e. the ground site, flying power supply, but it's only a half bridge. But it adds something new in the technology, and that's junction temperature simulation where we actually compute a temperature inside a transistor without any way to be there. Okay, so that circuitry begins here and gets spawned into the other now full grounded bridge products. So all of these products you see here in the Microtech, Macrotech line are all grounded bridges. And they are all using junction temperature simulation. Slightly different circuitry, but it does the same thing. As I was saying at the first, that was kind of a conspiring because Jim was looking at it and Jim's saying, we got all this neat circuitry making these products. Why don't we make a whole range of things? So he got very involved in making micro and macro tech designs and I'm feeding him circuits. You know, well, here's a place you can take out money. Yeah, you don't have to do it with quite this much stuff, that type of thing. So we're basically trimming down it, making it a more and more effective design for the market into which it's going. And the market now is not the unknown one that the M600 was targeted at. We honestly didn't know who was going to use M600s. As it turned out, they led us to completely different marketplaces. M600s ultimately led us to the medical world. People discovered they could walk into a stereo shop, buy a DC coupled amplifier that was robust, and they could drive gradient coils with it. That's how we got into that business. Okay. But when we first made that product, it was controversial. Was, honestly, that was no tape recorder accessory. It was heavier than the tape recorder. <laughs> So that was a different world we were entering. And this product, these products, these go to a world that we know. <laughs> we know who's using them. And that's a little different in a way. And we knew it was cost sensitive. So it needed to have a lot of cost effective type measures taken. So there you see a mix of products now coming from it. And they're getting bigger and bigger, you know, by the time you get up to the 5,000 here. 